on. Tap in. What are you doing? I'm sorry. Doesn't matter. Put it off. Please it's on that TV. Oh, you can go ahead and cut that off. Because this happens to be loud. Oh, okay. Afternoon situation where Lisa B starts next. Yeah, what it do, besties? Happy Money Making Monday. Hopefully you made some good money today at your J-O-B. And I'm hoping that you are ready for an experience in a moment. You know how we get down. If you are a part of the tried and true Bessie crew, you know what we do here until 7 o'clock. But for the new people, hey, Bessie, how you doing? I'm Leisha B, the new Bestie. And we have our Bestie date for four hours from 3 to 7. Not only do I tell you all the tea about what's going on in pop culture, what's going on in the 616, but I also hope you hook you up with the most exclusive tickets in the game. All right, so now that you got to run down, let's lock in with another JT moment. Let's get into it. It's Magic 104. Now. Your daily dose of pop culture, the Lituation Report on Magic 104.9. Grand Rapids, number one for hip-hop and R&B. And Nicki Minaj is being sued by one of her super barbs who says that he was publicly humiliated and slandered by Nicki, who wasted no time in addressing the $5 million lawsuit filed against her. The super fan claims that the rapper once invited him to her hotel for the sole purpose of humiliating him online in front of 100,000 fans. He even allegedly was battered by her husband during an encounter during a Super Bowl event. And yes, you already know that Nikki's attorneys made a statement offering her side of the story. Still saying the same thing that the 15-year-old was stalking her. So if you want the details, they're waiting for you in the app. And last but not least, Drake appears to be sending a message to Kendrick Lamar and I'm a little confused by it. On his little Finsta account, he shared a clip of former Detroit Pistons star Rasheed Wallace's famous interview guaranteeing that the team would be winning over the Indiana Pistons. Pacers saying that they will win game two. So I'm guessing Drake is going to be winning the next few between him and K-Dot. Mm, okay, friend. Leave it alone. If you want more details, you know what to do, bestie. Tap into that My Magic GR app. Grand Rapids number one for hip-hop, Magic 104 9. I'm Leisha B, afternoon bestie, holding it down on the afternoon lituation. And we got to chat about this, besties, because this Nipsey Hustle wax figure is causing some uproar. Because not everyone thinks that the reveal of Nipsey Hustle's wax figure is actually a victory lap. After its unveiling on August 23rd, the the internet went in an uproar weighing on how lifelike the figure looks. Now, to me, it looks exactly like that man. And after making its public debut at InvestFest in Atlanta, attendees and social media users galore reacted in real time to the artwork. And while they're saying that the figure did stay true to the late rapper's roots, they're criticizing the rather awkward pose. But I'm just saying, it may look like he ain't got no leg, but it looks like he's leaning on something, right? While other people are saying that we should be happy that it looks anything like him. And I'm just saying, some of these wax figures about these celebrities that we've been seeing recently look a little crazy, okay? So let's just, you know, be excited about this one looking right. If you want the details and you want to see the picture to make your own inferences about it, go ahead and download that My Magic GR app. Magic 104.9, Grand Rap is number one for hip-hop, and it's time for a quick lesson on messing around and finding out. In today's classroom conversation, we're talking about Hulk Hogan, because in a recent event, he asked fans some interesting questions about Vice President Kamala Harris. Hear this. You want me to body slam somebody? You want me to body slam Kamala Harris? I said, do you want me to body slam Kamala Harris? Do you want me to drop the leg on Kamala? Is Kamala a chameleon? Is she Indian? Okay, I like it. Ow. I'm gonna get heat for that one, brother funny because he knew he was going to get caught up after this to the point where his biopic that was supposed to be coming out, well, unfortunately, it's scrapped because he decided to not close his mouth. If you wanted to get a little biopic of Hulk Hogan, baby, it's not happening no more. Again, this is what happens when you mess around. You do find out, ladies and gentlemen. If you want to get all the details, bestie, you know what to do. Tap into that My Magic GR. It's time for the 616 check-in on Magic 104.9. Grand Rapids, number one for hip-hop and R&B. All right, let's get to it, besties. The pedal for ALS event is happening on Sunday, September 15th at Cannonsburg Ski Area. And it's all to raise awareness and funds for family experiencing and affecting ALS. And volunteers are needed. They're actually a very important part of the success of this event. And they're used in numerous opportunities for individuals and businesses to get involved, whether that's through sponsorships, donations, or direct participation. So if you have time on Sunday, September 15th, go ahead and download that My Magic GR app to find out how you can volunteer right now. And also, for the last few years, the City of Grand Rapids has had the beloved gear library where you were able to get any gear that you want. Well, unfortunately, at the end of the year, they will be concluding the program. And if you want to know why, you can have to tap into that Magic app. For more details about what's going on in the 616 area, Michigan as a whole, and so much more are waiting for you in the app. Download the My Magic GR app or 
head over to MyMagicVR.com. It's back to school season on Grand Rapids number one for hip hop, Magic 1049. And I know that it gets a little chaotic for teachers trying to figure out what the perfect classroom decor should be. And Jennifer Castellio actually shares the process of her transforming her classrooms on social media, and they've gone viral. That now she has an Etsy shop that she creates printables for other educators to purchase to bring the same creativity to their own classrooms. So with this Etsy shop, she wants to be able to make it easier for teachers who usually purchase their own school supplies and are heavily responsible for creating their own rooms. But that got me thinking. I want to know what classrooms look like right here in our area. So if there's any teachers who still need last-minute things in their classroom wish list, let me know. I would love to help out. It's Magic 1049.